Welcome to the Boise. Welcome to the Boise State Esports Arena. Tonight we have a nice Rocket League match. Boise State is looking to close out their season with a victory. And then what's the penultimate game, I should say, of the season, second to last. They've been having a tear all season long, but all things must come to an end and we'll see if they can't start to end things on a high note. As we'll no doubt see Durtho, Gill, and Instinct fighting it out as normal here today. I'm your host, Jacob Palmer, joined by Hayden Dalton, calling all the action for you. So, Hayden, tell us a bit more about the matchup we have here tonight. Uh, you know, like, like you said here, we got this uh, second-to-last match, and uh, I think this team, they definitely want to end on a high note here uh, as we go into this. So they're going to be, uh, we're going to see some good play here as both teams have kind of, seen what they can do throughout the season and are ready to get into this. All right. Well, let's take a look at the specific matchup that we have lined up for us today. And also we can go over the general keys to the game that both of these teams are going to have to follow. It's Boise State versus the Westcliff Warriors. So Broncos versus the Warriors. And no matter what team Boise State is playing against, they are, of course, going to want to follow Doc's keys to the game in Rocket League, which is going to be create mistakes, punish double commits, don't overstay, and bump opponents to disrupt. It's all brought to you by Drop-In Gaming, the premier online platform for gamers who seek competition. Play your favorite games to win cash and prizes through free and paid entry matches and tournaments. Whether you are new to the scene or a seasoned veteran, Drop-In Gaming has the right games and competition for you. We're out ready to drop into the action here for Game 1 of Boise State versus the Westcliff Warriors. Let's head down to the field and watch the first kickoff of the game. Getting right into this, we're gonna see it looks like, uh, ooh, no, open goal. Barely hits the crossbar though. No managing to recover. Instinct gets it out of the corner and onto the side of Westcliff here. Sharkus though is ready to respond. Solon knocking it back and Durtho managing to intercept it here though. Good aerial play. Shark is setting it up for his team, and Instinct just sends that ball right out of there. And it's a demolition on the Chief here. Pass over to Durtho is going to bounce above him, so Instinct has to contend with Chief. The shot goes back toward Boise State's goal. Durtho is going to pick up the ball and play it off the wall. Gets the double touch as he continues the air dribble. It's going to be left on the front post. Instinct, and now Gill gets a touch on it. It's going to go off to the backboard. Durtho was not able, though, to rotate over quite fast enough. But it looks like some good defense from the Broncos is going to help them keep the side control going nonetheless. Yeah. You see here, uh, Solon trying to keep it out of their side of the goal. Boise State keeping a good offense. The shot actually going off from Sharkus, but Instinct is managing to intercept it, leaving their net wide open. And Instinct, with, uh, I believe that was a hat trick, well, it's, it's hard to call it a hat trick when it's the first goal of the game, but with the way it's playing, you would definitely think it is. Goal is left wide open as the Westcliff Warriors rotate too far up. Don't have anyone near that goal on back post, and it pays, uh, it pays they pay dearly for it. Durtho is going to try to make something happen right off the kickoff once again, leaving it for instinct and another shot to make it 2-0. and zero. Now we're getting close to the hat trick. All right. Yeah, these uh, these setup plays here for Instinct have just been, uh, I mean, the first one he set it up for himself, but both these just right position, right time. Heading into uh, the next round. Sharkus. Like uh, Durtho here, gonna be sending it off field. Solon managed to inter intercept it though. Kind of trying to keep it in these corners, keep it out from their goal. Gill gonna knock it back in, and the net is wide open, and Gill takes a shot and gets the goal. You have to see if you see two of the Warriors, make it all three actually have committed past the goal. It completely leaves it wide open for an easy chip shot for Gill, and now the Broncos are up to an even more commanding 3-0 lead. Yep, as we get the kickoff here again, going the side of Westcliff. Uh, I believe they've won all three uh, uh, kickoffs here so far. Um, Gil, though, gets sent up in the air, barely doesn't make it in, hitting that crossbar. Instinct managing to set it up again for Durtho, but gets taken away at the last second. 
Solon though getting it set up, but no one's there to follow it up. Durtho gets it back to the side of the map, sending it in the air. Instinct we see ready for it, but unable to get it. It's a nice aerial play from Sharkus, stops that play. Bill tries to intercept it, gets juked out by Chief. Uh, Durtho though, sending it all the way to the other side, kind of stuck in the middle of the map here. Gil's ready for the shot, but not able to find anything. Chief with some good aerial play, sending it to Stolen, but Instinct predicting that, being on the wall already there to intercept. Durtho trying to get fancy with it, not finding anything though. Sharkus sending it back to the corner. You see Gil going up for it, barely intercepts it, just in time for, uh, to beat out Chief. Demolition going on to Solon here. Sharkus overshooting, trying to get back to the goal. Chief managing to keep it away from that front goal post for an easy shot. Sent back into the air. Oh my goodness. A bunch of players converging on that one. Definitely a double commit for the Warriors. Gil is now going to try to take it back to the goal himself. Just muscle it in. Almost trickles in. Sharkus is there to save. Now with just two, less than two minutes remaining, Westcliff Warriors are gonna have to bring a goal here in about the next 30 seconds if they wanna keep things in reach. Yeah, cheap. Uh, and there you go. Right as you say that. Gets the, the nice shot. It looks like a little bit of an overcommit there. I think they're expecting Instinct to, to block that. They had no one else in position. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you got to call out who's rotating the back post because there's no one there and no one even in the replay who was in the process of rotating. Just saw Gil kind of chasing it and it down the mid route. So for now, Boise State still in the lead, two to one, but might be showing some cracks if they're making some positioning mistakes. Both of the 